Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another scenic video today. I keep being asked, how does the preheating work? It's a little bit complex, let's go and talk about it. Second wash in five months, so it's looking nice and clean. Look at this. Right, so let's go and talk about this preheating. So first of all, what do we mean by preheating? Well, in this context, we mean heating the battery so that it charges faster. And this can make quite a difference. Um, without preheating, if you see my first ever scenic video, I didn't realize how the preheating worked and I got to a Tesla supercharger and from memory it got to about 60 kilowatts an hour maximum speed. However, if you preheat it, you can get 130 kilowatts an hour. So it can literally double the speed at which you can charge. Now, Renault's done something rather unusual with this car. If you're in a Tesla and you are navigating to a Tesla supercharger, then it will automatically start preheating the car anyway, no matter how you navigate to that supercharger. And in fact, Tesla's just introduced navigation to other chargers as well, and it preheats. The Renault, in some ways, was one step ahead of Tesla because it would preheat to any charger. It didn't have to be just a Tesla charger. Any charger, it would preheat. The problem is, is that preheating uses battery. It, it has to go, really, for at least half an hour, possibly even longer the Tesla would often go for an hour or so nearly um, and um, because it's it's heating the battery for that period of time it's using battery so what Renault have done is they've said right if you navigate to a charger and that's your end destination it's not going to preheat on the probably wrong assumption that you won't need a fast charger when you get there it doesn't matter if it's slower and you don't want to use battery whilst you're going there. So there's a trick. What you've got to do whenever you're navigating to a charger for the preheating to work, and this is what I'm going to show you now. So the way to do it is, if you want to navigate somewhere and you're going to need a charge, but you want to select your charger, uh, and you want to have it not as your final stop. So if I just navigated to Tesla Supercharger, Milton Keynes, for example, it wouldn't preheat. But imagine I'm going to Milton Keynes anyway, and I just want to call at a charger near to Milton Keynes. So what you have to do is you first of all have to navigate to where you're going. So I'm going down to Milton Keynes. Now this car, check my other videos, can, and I'll link one above, um, can get to Milton Keynes in one go. But the Google system here grossly overestimates consumption. I found and so it puts in charging stops that aren't needed so you get to know the car and you can cancel them off but let's just pretend it needs a charge if I'm going to Milton Keynes so let's navigate to Milton Keynes first hey. navigate to Milton Keynes Central so this navigating to Milton Keynes Central so you can see it's saying, uh, you saw it quickly there, it would run out of battery. It claims it would have minus 11% by the time I got there from near Wakefield. That is incorrect, it wouldn't have. But And what it's done is, and I don't know how it selects this, it's selected a very early charge here at Chesterfield. Goodness knows why. I mean, it would, my car, if I set off with 100%, would have an absolute ton of battery left by that point. I've only got 48% left though, so that's probably why it's doing it actually. So it's probably right. But imagine I had 100% battery and we wanted to charge near Milton Keynes. And as I say, if I just set, say there are, there's a Tesla, there's Tesla superchargers in Milton Keynes and things. Imagine if I'd just set it as the Tesla supercharger in Milton Keynes, it would not preheat. But we've already got a charging stop in and you only really need to do this where you've got a charging stop already on. And what you do is you can replace it and then you have to go, this is where it's a bit of a faff, down to where you're going, let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Search this area. And we have got, let's have a look.
we've got that Allegro one there, pretend. And there we go. So we've now got Milton Keynes as our destination. And we have got a charging stop en route and your battery will preheat before it gets there. Right, the difficulty comes if you want to navigate somewhere and your car doesn't need to charge on the way. Now I've only got 44% battery left so I, c I could possibly just get to Milton Keynes actually uh, on 44% but um, it'd be, I'd be struggling so it is. it would need to charge if I now navigate to Milton Keynes. I can get there and back on one charge. But imagine I had 100% and I didn't need to charge, but I wanted to go to Milton Keynes and I thought to myself, you know what, it's going to be tight coming back. I've got plenty of time going down to Milton Keynes before I have to be at my appointment. So what I'd like to do is I'd just like to stop at Newport Pagnall at the grid serve there. I can't stop at Tesla, uh, so I'd have to stop at the grid serve. Um, I want to charge up to 100%, continue to my journey at Milton Keynes and then I can come back. So first of all, um, I will uh, navigate to the grid serve. Hey Google, navigate to grid serve Newport Pagnell. Navigating to GRIDSERV charging station. So we've got that already in, and then I can add a stop, choose destination, um, Milton Keynes Central. I'm not sure for this if you can use the voice command, maybe you can if you press on the steering wheel. But anyway, just type it in. And now it's added a stop there. And you'll see, it's got me going to the grid serve there at Newport Pagnall. 33 minute charge. Uh, in fact, it's the one near Bletchley for some reason. And then it's got me going on to Milton Keynes. So I must have picked the wrong one, but anyway, it's done the business. So 33 minute charge there, and then on to Milton Keynes. Now, because this is a stop, it will preheat the battery here. So that's how you do it. If um, imagine I didn't want to go to Milton Keynes. Oh, imagine I was going to London. I could have done that and then it'll preheat and I just cancel the bit to Milton Keynes. Because it's stopping en route, it will preheat. So it is um, overly complex and I think Renault should change this, but that's basically how you do it. You just need to put in another destination added as a stop close to the charger. So you can navigate to any charger and then put in a destination which is very close to it as an added stop. That's how you do it basically on that way. It is easy if you've already got a charging stop scheduled in because then you can just replace that by pressing the replace button as I showed you before. So as you can see it's unnecessarily convoluted really isn't it and Renault really need to fix this I think on a software update which could be done but that's how you do it. Uh, don't set your endpoint as that charging station. It'd be so easy just to say I want to go to the Tesla supercharger in Milton Keynes and it preheat the battery wouldn't it really but hey -oh, it's a foible of the car and um, just a bit unfortunate but I hope that helps anybody who's wondering how to make it so that their car preheats because it makes a heck of a difference as I say you'll probably double and we're talking about in 14 degrees even not even freezing cold you go from 60 kilowatts to 120 130 kilowatts check out my other videos where you see some of my journeys distance tests and charging and Please like and subscribe. The full review video of this Scenic after nearly six months of ownership, it is coming. I keep doing bits and I'll put it all together shortly and uh, you can see my final conclusion on the car. Cheers, bye. Look at these guys, wanting some, something more to eat, aren't you? Eh? Want something more to eat? And you as well. Come on then, we'll get you a treat. How's about that?